This video is about basic annotation. We're going to start by orienting ourselves over the object that we want to annotate. We can do this by using the scroll wheel or mouse pad to scroll up and then use the arrow keys to look down directly onto the scene. We can use the left and arrow keys to turn our view left or right. I'm going to go look for a good object to annotate by pressing the plus arrow key to move forwards through the frames. I can also look in the camera view. I can use my little cursor around something that looks like an object to show in the top left hand corner what that looks like in the image. I can see a truck here which might be good for annotating. So I'm going to go into the camera views. That looks like the same truck there. All right. I can tell that it's facing up based on the images that I'm looking at. So when you're annotating an object, you always want to make sure that it's facing the top of the screen. You always want to orient yourself like that. If I did it this way, it was good. it'll be upside down. So I have my object facing towards the top of the screen. I'm going to turn on APC, which means aggregated point cloud. APC lets you see the ladder points for more frames than just one. In this case, I'm going to look at the lighter points for all 61 frames in this task. In this situation, we're not going to use ground points. So since this car is stationary, that means it never moves, it has a very clear view. We just drag and drop a box over the lighter points and our cuboid drops. First thing we always have to do is select a label. You won't be able to edit the cuboid if you don't select a label. Here you can click around through the different camera views. Since we're very close, we don't have a good image, but we do have multiple different images that make up one complete image. I can check here to see the coordinates, the dimensions. This is how large the vehicle is. This is where it's positioned in the scene. This is a directional heading if it's facing to the left or right. And that's where the bottom of the cuboid is. So now I'm going to make sure my cuboid is sized correctly. I can use the left and right arrow keys to change the directional heading. can also drag and drop the heading at the top. And I can use the W, A, S, and D keys to adjust the placement. To adjust the sizing, I have to use my mouse here. So I can just drag and drop the sides make sure it's not too tall. I'm going to use my W key to move forward a little, make the back a little tighter. And in order to switch between the back and side views, we just use the V button on your keyboard. You can also press right there. I just want to make sure we're going to the bottom of the ground. And it looks like it's correctly sized and placed here. Now we've got the basics. Since we know that this truck is parked here and not moving. That means it exists in all 61 frames in the same exact position. So I'm going to mark this as stationary. Now that means if I move forwards or backwards in the frames, it's still going to be in the same exact place. So there's the way that you annotate a stationary object.